So some short art games you can play. Um, it wouldn't take up too much time. This is probably their favorite one that I do with them. Um, but I have three buckets. And in each bucket, there's uh, a different thing. I just call this the bucket drawing game. Like, for example, in here, it says emotion. So there'll be different emotions, like happy, sad, angry, mad, all that good stuff. Uh, thing. So it'll be a different thing in here, like a type of animal, a cat, a dog, a bear, uh, you could say human, you could say balloon. I mean, pretty much anything, any one object or living thing, animate or inanimate. Uh, and then doing um, is just what that thing is doing. So it could be doing something like taking a nap or playing soccer or just some sort of action, something that they're doing. So, like, if I pull just at random, I can get a happy hamburger driving a car. So then the challenge for that game would be to try to draw a happy hamburger driving a car. And then also, as an extra challenge, the kids might have to think of a reason, well, why is the hamburger happy? Maybe it's going somewhere that'll make it happy. Maybe just driving a car makes it happy. Um, some examples of some of these were like this one, which was an angry bunny playing soccer. And the reason why it was angry is because it was losing to the turtle. Or this sad bee going to get ice cream and was sad because it couldn't find any flowers. So it's getting some ice cream to make it feel better. Um, going off of that, the other game that I sometimes play with them is um, Exquisite Corpses, but. It's a little different than the typical way of doing it. So probably something you've heard of. But dividing the paper into three parts, and then it's some sort of head, some sort of body, some sort of legs. Uh, so it could be like a bunny, a uh, bear, and then a flower at the bottom. But um, just kind of like to save time, and especially, especially in a virtual setting, I can't pass around a piece of paper and have one person do the head, one person do the body, and one person do the legs. Um, I just give them three things. So let's say like, or they might pick the things. They might help me pick the things too. So maybe someone says like a dog, and then someone says um, a carrot, and then someone else says a um a plant a bunny carrot or a cat i'm sorry a dog carrot plant but they could be any order so you could put the dog as the feet the carrot as the head and the plant as the body or it could be any combination as long as one of them is a dog one of them is a carrot and one of them is a plant um so that's just another way of doing exquisite corpses without having to worry about like passing around the paper or being in person um, and it's also relatively quick and also everybody kind of comes up with their own ideas because where the dog could be ahead and one person's a dog could be the legs for another person's um so those are just a couple of ideas of like quick things um i found that are pretty good as far as playing like little drawing games with them